For the past 18 years, this television program has never had anything political on it. I've never had a candidate. We want to be free of that and into real estate. But today, this year, we're making an exception because my brother Joe is running on the south side of Binghamton in the 5th Council District in the city for a city councilman. So, without further ado, Joe, thanks for being on the show. Well, thanks for having me, John. It's <laughs> nice to be here. I've never been on your show before. That's right. And that yeah. was intentional. No, I'm yes. kidding. Well, so, <laughs> people always think I'm John, by yeah, the way. Yeah, that's true. You know. <laughs> I, uh, well, now, I'm glad that you're running for office because, you know, somebody had to do it in the family, and you're the man. Well, you know, our great-grandfather was on city council in the 1930s. Right, John Burns. Right. And he ran when he was in his 60s. So I am now in my 60s. I'm retired from the TV and movie business, and I have plenty of time to, uh, you know, take great care for the south side of Binghamton, and I can answer all the calls about snow and paving. I'm going to call and complain and, all the yeah, time. Yeah, I, I bet you are. <laughs> uh, but uh, now, let me ask you a question. Now, if they're dealing with I don't know, 50 million, 100 million dollars in a budget. Uh, you know, I mean, have you ever dealt with with budgets like that, like yeah, in the well, millions and stuff? I, I was a, a first assistant director in the movies. I did things like, uh, like folks probably have seen some of the movies I've done. I, I did uh, Die Hard 3, Interview with a Vampire, Quiz Show, Age of Innocence, many others. JFK. Yeah, you can Google me. It's Joe Burns, assistant director, to, to see what I've done. But uh, my job as a first assistant director was to keep everything on budget and on schedule. And I was hired over and over again by the best directors in the business right. because I was very good at that. So I think that my training as an assistant director is perfect yeah. to, to be on city council. Right, plus you had a, a what, uh, how many people on the side of a movie? Well, there's hundreds, right? Uh, well, you know, there's probably 100 people on the crew. Uh, there would be, uh, you know, uh, several departments, just like city government, right. you know, and, you, and my job would be to know what every department is doing and, uh, and how they're spending their money. Right. So qualified to be a city councilman. Yes. And you have, uh, uh, you know, some vision for the city. And Well, I do. I, you know, I think that we should, uh, I think downtown is looking great. I think the mayor's done a great job of downtown. Uh, but uh, I think there's other neighborhoods, you know, that need, need, need some help. I just want to keep, this, keep the city moving forward. Right. You know, but we have, we have problems with affordable housing and things like that for people. And uh, I'd like to work on that. Uh, what about property taxes? Well, property taxes, it's my intention to keep them as low as possible. Uh, They're going down this year, I heard. Well, the mayor has lowered uh, the taxes two years in a row. Oh. And when I'm on city council, I'm going to encourage him to do that again. Uh, we do have a, a surplus in the city right now. The largest surplus, I, I think, in history. It's like a $15 million, uh, yeah. I believe, that we have. Yeah. So, so, so now, you know, uh, so if, if somebody wants to support your candidacy and they want to help and, uh, you know, I know that the, the primary election, you know, can go uh, by, you can win by 11 votes yes. or five votes or something. Yeah, like that. there is a primary June 25th. I'll need everybody to please get out and vote on the 25th. Uh, my opponent is from, uh, he, he moved here just a, a year ago from Queens, New York. And uh, he seems to be a nice enough fellow, but I don't think that being here for a year could he possibly, him. I don't think, you know, like our great grandfather came from Ireland, all right? So, and he ran for city council, but he was in business for 20 years downtown Binghamton. Right. You know, he owned the Burns shoe store. And when he sold the Burns shoe store, it became Parlor City Shoes. He sold it uh, to that. Remember Parlor City yeah. Shoes. So, but, so there's nothing wrong with moving here and running for office. But I think you should be here a little while. Yeah, right. So, uh, so we have a primary on the 25th. People need to go vote that day. And then you will have uh, a general election in November. That's correct. Okay. So uh, what, uh, where do people go on your website? Or to... oh, I have a Facebook page, uh, Joe Burns for City Council. And uh, you can check that out. Um, well, I'm voting for you. No, I can't vote. I yeah. can't vote. Uh, yeah, you're in the town of Binghamton. Yeah, that's right. Benedict Arnold. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> all right, Joe. All right. I'm, I'm working for you. Okay, all okay. right.